welcome to this Friday video. We're going to stretch ourselves on this one and go with problem 6 from assignment 4. Problem 6 is the Bayes Law problem. And really, Bayes Law just depends upon what we understand as being conditional probability. In fact, the entire formula for Bayes Law comes from just conditional probability. So let's look at this problem and I'll solve the first and second spaces and I'll let you go for the third one. Look at the information we're given here. We're given three data entry specialists. We'll call them Specialist 1, Specialist 2, and Special 3. Specialist 3. They enter requisitions into a computer. Specialist 1 processes 16% of the requisitions. Specialist 2, 43%, and Specialist 3, 41%. Notice those three numbers, 16%, 43%, and 41%, add up to 1. So there's only the three specialists. Next sentence. The proportions of incorrectly entered requisitions by data entry specialists are 0 0.06, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01. The 0 0.06 is actually the probability the requisition is incorrect given it was done by specialist 1. The 0.03 is the probability the requisition was incorrect given it was done by specialist 2. And 0.01 is the probability that the requisition was incorrect given it was done by specialist 3. Notice those three probabilities that I just stated are not these three probabilities. The 0.06 is the probability incorrect given specialist 1. What my cursor is pointing at is the probability specialist 1 given it's incorrect. Those are not the same probabilities. Some call them flipped probabilities or inverted probabilities. And what Bayes' law does is it allows us to flip or invert those probabilities. Now suppose that a random requisition is found to have been incorrectly entered. What's the probability that it was processed by data specialist 1, 2, and 3? So again, let me emphasize this. The probabilities were given, the 0.06, the 0.03, and the 0.01, are the probability incorrect given specialist 1, 2, and 3. We're asked to find the flip of that. We're asked to find the probability of specialist 1 given it's incorrect. Again, this comes from section 4 or 5. In fact, this problem, this problem number 6, is really an application of stuff that's covered in example 4.14. So I'm going to bring up Excel. I've already put this spreadsheet together. We're asked for A. We're asked the probability of specialist 1 given incorrect. So we'll calculate the probability of specialist 1 given incorrect. I got tired of typing some things, so I abbreviated it. There's six pieces of information we need to know. We need to know the probability of incorrect given specialist 1, probability incorrect given specialist 2, probability incorrect given specialist 3, and the probability that the requisition is filled out by specialist 1, 2, and 3. Once we have those six pieces of information, we can use Bayes' Law formula. And this really is just an application of Bayes' Theorem, which is at the bottom of page 176, and how it's modified in order to work with this example 4.14. The top probability of, of the uh, incorrect and specialist 1. And then each of these three terms in the bottom this is the probability of incorrect and specialist 1. This is probability incorrect and specialist 2. And probability incorrect and specialist 3. There's your conditional probability. And here's what that formula will calculate. So let's put in the information. Probability incorrect given specialist 1. 060301. And I'm going to go ahead and put these off to the left. 
that's given in the problem. Probability that a requisition is done by specialist 1, 2, and 3? 16 percent, 43 percent, 41 percent. That's all the information given. And now using Bayes' law, we just use this formula to find the probability that it was get, uh, done that the requisition was done by specialist one, given it was incorrect. Now let's look at this. Let's go ahead and calculate that numerator separately. That's probability of inc given specialist one times probability of specialist one. Well, that's just this cell times that cell. So that's equal to that cell times that cell. Now let's look at the denominator. It's got that same thing. Oh wow, plus the analog for specialist 2 and the analog for specialist 3. So I'm just going to highlight the cell we just calculated, control C, which is copy, hold down the shift key and the down arrow to highlight those three cells, and control V will paste them all. Enter will also paste them. So this is the value of the numerator. And we can get the value of the denominator just by adding all those up. What's the formula for adding in Excel? Sum. And then just highlight. So the probability specialist one given incomplete uh, incorrect. Well, that's just equal to the probability specialist uh, inco uh, probability specialist one times p of incorrect given specialist one divided by that sum. So the probability that it was specialist one that did this, given that it was incorrect, is 0.360902. 360902. Zero point three six zero nine zero two. Wait a minute, how many decimal places? Round your answers to three. So that's a one. Three six one. Well, what would it be for specialist two? Going back to this Excel formula, what changes? Okay, gotta change that to a two. But now that we do that, what changes here? That's a two. That's a 2, which means this value is equal to this 0 0.0129 divided by that sum, 484962. I have to do that to three decimal places, so I'll just click on this reduce so I don't have to try to guess, 0.485. Cool. And let's while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a specialist three. Now there's two ways of doing specialist three. We know that these three have to add up to one because there's only three specialists there. So we could do one minus 0.458 minus 0.361. That's one way of doing it. But since we have this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet set up so nicely, lots of S's on that one. I can just calculate it using Excel. This is probability of incorrect given specialist 3 times probability specialist 3 divided by that sum, 0.154. And note that those three numbers do indeed add up to 1, which is helpful. So 10 points. I'm going to submit this. I'm going to submit anyway. And I got my 10 points.
got it right. So I hope this one was helpful. Bayes' law is very complicated. That's why this is kind of the quote bonus question. Notice that all the homework question, all the homework assignments are 50 points, but this one is quote 60. So that last question is going to be the um, we'll call it extra credit. That's above and beyond the other extra credit that was assigned for this week. So I hope this was rather helpful for you. And again, Bayes' law is complicated. Um, the concepts are easy. It's just a way of going from one conditional probability to another conditional probability, flipping it. it the concepts are easy, but the calculations can be rather difficult. So setting up this Microsoft Excel spreadsheet might be helpful for you. If not, then you only wasted about 15 minutes. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you later. Bye.